Hi, I'm Chef Jeff Trombetta, and today we will be making dandelion greens, a salad. Tis the season, right? You have to get these when they're young. And uh, in other words, don't try not to pick them when there's a big yellow flower coming out of the center. You know, these were picked when they were um, budding and the flower wasn't quite developed. So some of these are a little long, uh, but the longer they are, the, the more bitter uh, they'll become. So they're a little bit more delicate when they're kind of short and young. So I have some here washed, ready to go. And when you wash them, this is the best storage for any green for that matter. First of all, make sure you have ample water. In other words, where the green is actually floating and all the sand and dirt can sink to the bottom. There's room for it to sink to the bottom where the greens are not mixing with the dirt. And then you pull the lettuce out. Obviously don't pour the water over the greens to drain it uh, because then you're pouring the dirt back on it. Sometimes uh, greens are clean and you don't really see the dirt, but there's some in there. And so anyway, that's the best way. And as far as storage, that, that was a dry towel under there. So, uh, I, I soaked them, drained them, and then put it on a dry towel. Still some uh, moisture comes out. And then you put a damp towel over the top right and that keeps them nice and fresh damp on the top dry on the bottom so they can drain and then cover them with plastic wrap and they keep well in your refrigerator uh, you know for even a couple days really it's the best way to store any vegetable really dry towel on the bottom damp towel on the top and cover with plastic wrap because this this towel will dry out from the refrigerator from the fan and what have you so anyway so you take your greens you put them in um, you put them in a, a, a bowl, right? And so we're going to uh, make, uh, we're just gonna garnish it up, right? Just make a nice salad, right? So, a little, a little uh, celery, right? Now be careful, I got a lot of uh, items here. And uh, so you don't wanna take away from, uh, this uh, too much, right? Okay, a little tomato, right? We're taking that stem out a little bit. There we go. Okay. You don't want to take away from the greens, but those dandelion greens are pretty strong. Some of you have eaten them, and uh, you know they have a very short window. So, like I said, tis the season now. And, um, let's see, uh, let's get some olives in there, all right? And what we're going to do is we're gonna, we're gonna have some croutons. So we're gonna toast up a flour tortilla, all right? And uh, we're just gonna throw it on the fire here and rotate it around so it uh, toasts up nice, check it out. Um, that kind of thing. Uh, let's get some carrots in there. I like to cut my carrot in half, try to cut it even and uh, nice and thin. Uh, that's enough there. So this is a garden salad. The dressing is going to be quite simple. You don't need a lot of dressing uh, because uh, uh, you know you got a lot of garden vegetables in there. So this is a sweet pepper, and um, you know this is the way I like to cut a jalapeno too. So if you're gonna cut your uh, cut it in quarters, this way you can cut your seeds. And I like to get the white pith out. You know this this part right here. And um, and if I was cooking the peppers, I don't really care so much about the 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 pith. You know that doesn't matter. That kind of hides. But you know I don't like the looks. Not that it. Basically has no flavor anyway. Uh, so this, you gotta decide how to cut it. And okay, the dandelion greens are long, so we'll keep this long, all right? And again, you don't need a recipe for a salad, right? I mean, come on. It's like putting uh, milk in your cereal. You need a recipe for that? Or milk in your coffee? Or butter in the pan to saute something? All right, I'm gonna turn this baby up a little bit. So I can get this tortilla toasted because we're almost done here. I got my, um, 
I got everything in there, really. Uh, we're just waiting on that. So if we crank it up, you know, we could get it much quicker. Just keep an eye on it, all right? Uh, we're gonna do some uh, cheese, but at the end, all right? This is um, Oribella cheese. Uh, it's a Bel Geloso product. Uh, this is their version of like, um, I, whoa, 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 there we go. Not too much, okay. Uh, this is their version of like a provolone. Uh, this is made from raw milk. Uh, it's pungent, tastes like a provolone. It's uh, a kneaded cheese. Uh, so it's, 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 a nice, it's a nice cheese. All right, so we caught this tortilla just in time. A little char is okay. Let's get this other side so it's dry. All right, we have some here. All right, and, and then they get, they get stiff where they, they could crack. All right, eh, not too crack. So let's get it a little bit even crisper, right? Uh, you can do it in the oven. Um, so anyway, we are going to take some Himalayan um, salt, pink salt. Okay, you gotta remember the olives are salty, the cheese is salty. Uh, I find the Himalayan pink salt a little bit mild. And we're going to take some fresh cracked pepper. Wonderful in the salad. There we go. And now this is, um, hang on, there, we're getting there. Um, let's do this side again, get the chart away from the heat. Uh, this is my Rhodesian Ridgeback wine. Actually, my sister uh, made this label of some of my dogs and put it on a bottle of Raymond Cabernet, but I use it as my um, vinegar, you know? I just cut V's in the cork and uh, shoot it out like that, right? Oh yeah, and a little bit of, um, this is a beautiful olive oil. Uh, a friend gave me this, he picked up at Arthur Avenue in the Bronx, and first cold pressed, nice. Aromatic, all right? All right, so we have our, now this we're going to toss, and then we're gonna garnish it up with the cheese, and all right, make sure all that dressing gets around, and you should taste it to make sure it's seasoned right. It's got enough acidity and enough oil. Um, it certainly has enough dressing. Okay, take that off, and don't beat it up. Don't overmix a salad. It's one thing I tell my students all the time, is don't add an ingredient mix, add another ingredient mix, add another ingredient mix. Especially something like a salsa that has tomatoes where the juice comes out, or vegetables that get mushy, all right? So get everything in there that you think you want, especially your seasonings, and, uh, and then, all right. I would say that's perfect. I don't need to do anything. All right. So let's um, let's get that on our plate. And these dandelion greens, they're strong, but I tell you, they are good. All right. Get some garnish up there. It's nice the way they kind of. I like a toss salad. Okay, it has to be a tossed salad, very important, okay? You wanna get that dressing around all the ingredients. The garnishes, the olives, the carrots, the celery, that all kind of falls, separates itself anyway, naturally, so you could kind of pick it up and put it over the top, all right? So that's that. Then we're going to take our, this is actually a, a truffle, not a very good one, a truffle, uh, um, knife shaves truffles okay so it depends how much you like uh, it's kind of a uh, this cheese has a, a semi soft paste it could be crumbly and I think that's enough one more little one more little uh, doodad there all right and get our Cut them kind of big, you know, because um, you might want to put some salad garnish on there, piece of tomato, 
piece of celery, piece of cheese, and um, I'm a bread fiend. And you could use anything you want, you know, obviously. We make a lot at school, uh, my baking class, we make uh, homemade croissants, and then uh, I have a lot of them because I try to keep the production up. And um, then what happens is, uh, then out of, out of my our bistro cafe, uh, we take them, I throw them in the freezer, and then we just slice them up and toast them. And they make wonderful soup garnish and wonderful salad garnish is these little croissants. So anyway, that's your salad. Uh, it's a dandelion salad. It's dressed with uh, garden vegetables and it has a, just a simple olive oil. It's a white wine vinegar. That's my go-to vinegar is white wine vinegar. And um, uh, I love this stuff. And that's it. Bon appetito.